ladies. It's Sandra here with Love to Scrap. I want to go ahead and share with you guys a little video that I took with um, using my Slice Elite for the very first time. I bought this about a month ago and I haven't taken it out of the box. I haven't even tried it. This is the first time I'm going to try it. So I wanted to go ahead and do that and take a video and share it with you guys so that y'all can see what it what it does, you know, for whoever doesn't um, own one or hasn't used one before. This is my first time, so if y'all can bear with me. I know I'm supposed to put this adhesive on the on this mat. And just spread it down like so. And I believe we're supposed to let it sit for a minute or two until it dries. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while I turn on my slice and and look for the uh, cut that I'm wanting to cut. So I'll just set this aside and let it dry. Now if you guys have any tips on how to do this um, much easier, much faster, you know, quicker, feel free to leave any comments down below and let me know because like I said, this is the first time I've used this, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this right, do it wrong. But let's see. Let's go ahead and take this off. And let's take this bottom part off as well. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using the basic element um, cartridge here, this card. So let's see. I believe we will slide it in this way. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully it's got some battery. If not, I'll have to plug it in. Nope. Okay, we're going to have to plug this in. One quick second. Let me... Go ahead and hook this up. Right there. Sorry, but like I said, I haven't used this, so y'all just bear with me. Let me get this on. There we go. Okay, so it's powering on. Y'all can see that. So we have a little quick start guide here. Maybe this will help me a bit on. Go through. Let's see. Ready? Select. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if y'all can see this. Here, let me get this out of the way. Bring this over here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select the cut that I want. Okay, let me see. I think we are probably going in here. There we go. And I am looking for the word enjoy. I don't see it on here. So maybe if we go back. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I've selected my word, and I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to let this dry, or how dry it should be. Maybe I put a little too much glue. <clears throat> okay, use the single arrows, scroll through, select. After the design is chosen, use a single arrow to choose size and press select. Okay, let's see. Normal to inch. I think that's too big. Let's see if we can go down. Mirror. No. Shadow. No. Okay, we want normal. Oh gosh. It's not going to cut. No. That scared me. Let's 
says it's ready, but I don't want a two inch. I think that's too big. Okay, okay let's see what, how my glue is. Yeah, I think I might have spread a little too much glue there. But that's how you know whether you're doing it right or wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry real quick. Give me a about two more minutes and then I will come right back. Alright ladies, I'm back. I went ahead and let that dry. Um, I already put my paper on here, my cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And hopefully I'm doing it right. I don't know if you're supposed to set it in a certain area, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the center here. Okay, so my machine is already ready. As you can see, it says ready. Press cut button on side of slice to begin cutting. Oh, okay, we got a cut button down in here somewhere. There we go. And I noticed how the machine moved a bit, guys. You have to hold this down. I forgot about that. If you have a magnetic uh, cutting ma uh, cutting mat, then you don't have to hold it down. See the check mark? It's, it's already done cutting. But if you're not working with the magnetic mat, then you're going to have to hold your machine down. If not, it moves around and your cut just turns out terrible. So, it's done. I guess I just pick it up. And there's my... There's my word, enjoy. Isn't that awesome? See how I wasn't holding at the very beginning? And it kind of messed up my E there. But I guess if we flip this around, maybe we can try it again. So, let's try it again. This time I will hold the machine down. Okay, press menu key. We're going to go ahead and do that again, so I'll just push the button over on the side here. And it should go ahead and cut it again. <coughs> well, sorry, select, and then cut. There we go. And it is complete. So now I just pick it up, and that is much cleaner. Look at that. It's a much cleaner cut than the first one. So that's pretty neat. Let's uh, go ahead and pick it up and see how that looks. Awesome! This is a pretty neat machine. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Awesome. Let me get my little spatula. Pick that up. There's my word. Enjoy. So I'm working on a card for my sister and I uh, wanted to write enjoy on there. I wrote it, you know, handwritten with my with my hand and I don't really like my writing, so I thought I'd use my slice and try it out. So let me give you a sneak peek of the card I'm making for her. This is the card I made. Isn't that gorgeous? I used some of this really pretty deep purple ribbon. Just a little sentiment here just for you. This is a stamp here. I um this is the stamp I used. I went ahead and used my Versamark and stamped it, stamped the image and embossed it with this lilac color um, embossing powder and then I used the black on the hummingbird and I thought it came out really pretty and then I just used some of the um, liquid pearls on the edges. I used some of my Copic markers to try and, you know, bring some of that color out on the purple. 
And I use my Spellbinder here to cut it all around the edge. Just a regular matte paper here. My Martha Stewart Corner Punch. But I thought it turned out really pretty. I haven't done anything on the insides yet. The back, I went ahead and added a little ribbon there as well. And here's the inside. I did the Martha Stewart Corner Punches as well, all on the corners. I embossed this with the, one of the uh, Sizzix uh, texture plates. Used some of my Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And it is the Dusty Concord. Beautiful color. So that brought out more of the deep purple in there. On the edges. Really pretty. So here's how I wrote the Enjoy. Then I just went, you know, outlined it with the glitter marker. Used another liquid pearls again. <coughs> but I don't like my writing, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of these little enjoys just, you know, um, all around the page here. And here's another one. So I'll just put these and fix them up somehow to kind of throw off my written one. <laughs> So, I'll figure it out, guys. Okay, I just wanted to share that little um, video here using my Slice Elite. Uh, I am so excited now that I used it. It's pretty cool. And hopefully that I can keep doing some cuts and get a little better at it. I guess you got to keep flipping your paper around so that you can keep, you know, using the whole paper. If not, that's the whole sheet gone to waste. I'm not sure how we'll ever get to the center because the machine doesn't really, you know, stay on the center of the page, but I don't know. I'll keep working on it and figure it out. So that's it, ladies. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.